Hello, this is Brad Witsit, the president of x -Win LLC. You're watching a German TV news report about the x -Win Crosswind Landing Trainer based near Hamburg, Germany. In 2008, an Airbus aircraft scraped a wingtip while attempting to land in a strong crosswind in Hamburg. This report connects the Crosswind Challenge faced by those pilots with the crosswind training offered by x -Win. In this report, they do a great job demonstrating the motion and the view. The only thing missing is how it feels. x -Win is unique because the pilot in the seat will feel the same side load forces experienced in the actual crosswind. x -Win allows the pilot to coordinate the feet and hands to react to the visual field almost identically to the airplane. The x -Win crosswind landing trainer is the new way that pilots can achieve outstanding crosswind landing skill with no risk and no fuel burned. Frank Manthe is interviewed in this news report. Frank is a flight instructor and user of the x wind trainer is probably the number one proponent of x wind in Germany. Frank is also an air traffic controller at the Hamburg International Airport. What's more fascinating is that Frank was on duty when the Airbus scraped a wingtip during the crosswind landing. Frank is a great instructor and now makes constant use of the x wind trainer. With the high cost of fuel plus landing fees in Germany, x -Win allows them to keep the cost down while raising crosswind skill way up. It helps greatly to have an aircraft model in hand to explain the exact goals in a crosswind. We've learned through experience that it is vital to sit down and review terminology and clearly outline the goals so that everyone is using similar terms. Otherwise, inaccurate terminology can get in the way of quick learning. In the clip coming up, you can see the X-Wind motion. You can see how the pilot is blown downwind when things are done wrong. Watching a video of the X-Wind trainer is much like watching an airplane fly over in turbulent weather. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but it is totally different when sitting in the seat. The repetition of foot-eye coordination helps pilots leap forward to create consistently great crosswind landing skills when actually sitting in the seat. Coming up shortly is a great clip showing approximately how it looks to the pilot as the x wind sim is responding to wind and pilot inputs of rudder and yoke. What is not easily seen in this small video is the white center and sideline runway markings on the floor or the centerline mark on the white laser target out front that the pilot uses to orient properly. Once a pilot thoroughly understands what should happen and how it should look, the laser pointers are turned off and everything is done with peripheral vision just like in the airplane. X-Wind is an all-electric platform that operates on standard wall power to produce a low-cost motion trainer to produce or to boost crosswind landing skill. The improvement in crosswind skill for all pilots is truly incredible to watch. About 20 miles from where this video was captured is the club room at the Itzho Airport. And next to the club is the hangar, or hall as they call it, where x wind is installed. Here we're moving the x wind container into the hall. This enclosure was built to protect the x wind trainer during shipment from the U.S. to Germany. You can see how x wind is oriented and jacked up with three attached jacks. The track is assembled underneath and the x wind is lowered into place. The track is not attached to the floor. The jacks are removed, minor adjustments are made, and it's ready to plug in and run. Michael Franzen is the owner of the x wind simulator in Germany. He is seated in the seat in this next photo. I'm on the left, Tom and Thies are on the right in the back. Michael owns a printing consulting firm and thus has access to good printing capacity. Here, an x wind banner is being installed over the trainer. On the outside of the building, Michael installed an x wind sign. Here's an overall view of the hall inside just after installation completion. This hall was said to be a disaster before they refinished the walls, floor, and installed new lights. In these photos, many Flying Cub members and instructors gathered in an open house so that they could see the hall and get to try x wind Michael Franzen had the vision to purchase an x wind renovate the hall, install it, and coordinate flight instructors to do the training. In July of 2008, I traveled to Germany to install the x wind and then spent a few days training the instructors to use x wind to train others. In spite of the language barrier, they were very quick to see the value as we placed their current flight students on the trainer and they saw the immediate pilot improvement right before their eyes. Some were skeptical at first, but soon all were seeing the quick growth in skill and confidence of their own students. By the way, they get all the credit for learning because my German skills are very, very poor. 
X-Plane has come a long way since the beginning of the development of the early prototype in 2001. I deeply believe in and remain committed to the idea that there are far too many crosswind landing accidents. Crosswinds are the number one cause of weather-related accidents every year, and gusts are number two. If thunderstorms, icing, and fog are combined, they do not equal the number of crosswind accidents each year. There are also indications that there are four times as many crosswind-related accidents than are reported each year. Plus, most of us know pilots who have left the runway during a crosswind landing have not caused any damage. Crosswind accidents do not occur because pilots are lazy. They occur because this is the toughest stick and rudder skill that a pilot must learn if they're going to be effective. It's hard to achieve and maintain high crosswind skill. Now with X-Wind, it is easy. Please visit our site at xwindsim.com to learn more about training opportunities and give me a call and to invest in the future of crosswind training by purchasing your own crosswind simulator to change the way that crosswind skill is passed on.